distributed inside the skin real time. So as the dots become red, then the energy has been already uh, delivered inside the skin. And we're going to carry on with the next part of the, of the neck. So once again, for the neck area, remember not to perform any treatment or, uh, onto the throat, as I said, the middle part of the area which is there. So, and then that, can, that makes the, the treatment pretty much safe. We are delivering all the uh, all the energy as as shown in the in the software. Real time, as you can see, the the dots have become in red as the uh, the energy is being delivered. Also, if we increase the power level, we'll see that those dots will become larger and larger, indicating that the the power that is being um, it's been delivered is much higher. So the, the bigger the dot, the more, uh, the higher the power, whereas the smaller the dots, the, the, the lower the power. Normally what you do, you start at a lower power setting and adjust it up to, um, to a level that the customer is, um, uh, can tolerate. Is it too high? So once again we're red. Delivering the energy. As a recap, um, there's a number of ways you can uh, adjust the intensity of the treatment. One is to uh, change the power setting. Another one is also changing the distance between the spots, as you may be familiar with um, or take arcing. And then we are, as you've seen, we've increased the power intensity. The dots become larger in the in the software. And so, once again, in order to increase the, the intensity of the treatment, what you can do is decrease the distance between the, um, the spots, decrease the distance between the lines, which is, is there, is in the pitch, and uh, that way you deliver more energy per square centimeter, uh, and that is what um, is going to change uh, the uh, the amount of energy that and the the intensity treatment um, the, the the intensity of the treatment so it's not only the power level it's um, also as you've seen with other types of treatments is the distance between the spots um, as this will um, change the amount of energy that you're uh, you're delivering now as you've seen we started off by applying the the ultrasonic head. Um, on an area and firing all the shots. Um, another, once we've done that, then we uh, we normally start moving, uh, firing the shots and moving the head at the same time. And the main advantage of this particular type of device is the fact that you, um, it's the fact that you're able to um, deliver uh, far more energy in less time. Uh, than single line uh, HIFO devices. And this applies not only to face treatments, but also, of course, to uh, body contouring uh, treatments. <laughs> that is the, um, we've uh, achieved the, the area underneath the, uh, uh, the mandibular bone. and we are applying the gel onto the air to make sure there's a good conduction, ultrasonic conduction. As you see, 
as you've seen, we are um, applying all the spots um, and are keeping the head still as the first line of treatment. There's no hard and fast rule in this type of uh, treatment. It's just that the, the results you're going to get are uh, dependent on the, the amount of energy that you're, uh, you're going to deliver um, uh, on, into the skin. And what you can just uh, add to, to show you what you can notice here is the uh, the, the amount of lines that we are uh, we're using right now. So it's 84, 85, 86, 87, 86, and so on. And the total is uh, 10,000. So if you say for in one shot, you're going to deliver 11 lines, then you're going to have, uh, for example, um, adding, you're going to add 11 to that number. And that is a, a short count. And then You've got patient total, and you can clear it if you wish. So you've got an idea of how many lines you've um, you've um, delivered up until that up, up to that point with that particular cartridge. So now we're going to go on to um, super mandibular area. We're uh, going to keep away from the bone as, as much as possible. We're delivering the uh, the shots. And as you've seen before, we're delivering the shots, keeping the, the head still. And it's completely automatic. If you can imagine a single line um, device, but you would need to sh uh, fire the device, in this case, five times to deliver the same uh, time of energy. So within that uh, shot, you're able to fire it uh, five times. So we're increasing slightly the amount of energy because it is tolerable to um, to the subject, and we keep delivering the shots. Um, you should ask um, your uh, your client whether the treatment is still uh, comfortable uh, to them. If it's not, then you decrease the power intensity. If they can bear um, a um, a higher intensity treatment, then you can increase the, uh, the power uh, level. You can also increase the, decrease the distance between the spots and between the dots by decreasing that number and also uh, decreasing the pitch. So you, you're going to uh, have an, an increased number of lines per shot, which is quite useful. So once again, as a reminder, the main advantage of this particular device versus the traditional hyphos is the fact that you can actually work uh, with uh, far uh, more speedily, uh, and within this, within one shot, are able to to deliver far more energy than you would otherwise uh, be able to to deliver. So, so if say for example, right now it's just as if you've fired five different shots with a, a traditional hyphos single line device, as you've uh, there's many on the market. But in this case, you're able to, to fire so many shots within, uh, so many lines within one shot. So, um, that is, in this case, for example, if you can imagine, we're speeding up the, um, the, the treatment uh, by four to five times. So uh, what you're able to, to deliver within um, a normal single line IFO here you're able to deliver five times faster because of the practicality of being able of you being able to, to deliver so many lines within one uh, one shot and if you if you uh, make if you run a business you know how important it is to uh, keep the, the treatment duration to a minimum uh, while maximizing the results and the results are maximized by uh, the amount of energy you're able to deliver uh, per shot and that is uh, the next uh, what is, a, uh, is possible the next generation hyphos the Areton multi-line hypho and so as you can see the we're carrying on with the with the treatment 
and we're delivering uh, the energy. Normally, um, once again, what you do is you start at a low um, power setting and you increase in the power setting as you go along. In terms of the number of lines that um, you, you, you want to deliver, it is completely up to you. The more lines you, um, uh, you apply, the higher the intensity of the treatment. So, if you want a high intensity treatment, you can do also. You can also do so by increasing the number of lines. Nobody stops you from using the maximum number of lines on uh, on the fa face and neck area. Um, it's just you've got to be um, uh, more concerned about the power level and the comfort of um, of the client than the number of lines. But bear in mind the number of lines dictate the the amount of uh, energy that you are delivering into the skin and also the degree of uh, collagen stimulation that you're able to uh, uh, to deliver as well. So there's no hard and fast rule as how you are going to deliver uh, the energy as long as once again you do avoid certain areas um, the um, the, the perioral mandibular uh, nerve has got to be avoided. The one just uh, beneath the uh, the corner of the of the mouth has got to be avoided uh, simply because um, of the uh, of of the problems that have been reported with other HIFO devices. So we've. Uh, We've learned from that and um, this is what we're teaching in, uh, in our video courses. And so, also something else that uh, we'd like to show you is those, Let's see whether we can show you with this camera. So something else I'd like to show you is these lines. This is the distance between this 25 millimeters. So you know where you're applying the, uh, the energy, which is between that point and that point. And then if you reduce it, it's also um, uh, reduced as well. That line is reduced as well, and you can actually see it on the screen. You can also see on the screen where you're um, roughly applying the, the energy. So you can reduce that line from 25 millimeter to less if you wish. It's completely up to you. So we're applying a bit more of a ultrasound gel. And so so we're applying more ultrasound gel, ultrasound conductive gel. We increase the power setting slightly. And now we're uh, moving the head slowly. As you've seen, we've just increased the power level. And we are uh, moving the head. So there's no hard and fast rule as we are and how the energy is delivered, as long as a certain amount of energy is delivered. And in order to um, have an idea of uh, the right setting, uh, always make sure that the customer is still comfortable uh, while the energy that's been 
delivered. Uh, another reason for increasing the energy when uh, you move the head of the ultrasound uh, so uh, headpiece is that um, since you're removing the head, the, um, the, the client can actually tolerate a higher um, power intensity, a higher power setting. So that's another reason to increase the, um, the intensity of the treatment and therefore the, intensity, the power setting of the device and therefore you're able to, to increase the, uh, the overall treatment intensity, maximizing the results. Um, this type of device has been set to, um, and it's been designed to work at very high power levels. You will seldom be able to, to work at the top uh, power levels. Um, let's just say, say for example, 4.5 at the two joule setting is going to be quite difficult. It's because it's really painful. Um, some uh, doctors have um, used the uh, higher power settings, but they need to use anesthetics and it's not recommendable uh, for this type of treatment. So we're going onto the, onto the temple area and we're moving the head. Uh, right now it's, uh, it's, it's quite a delicate area. Remember never to get onto the upper eyelid area because the energy is delivered inside the skin, not on the surface of the skin.